uh, nigga today, the fucking videos about the black moors, they rule Europe, they taught white people how to wash their ass, you know what I'm saying, shit like that, and it is niggas, the fucking word more literally means dark skinned or black, you feel me, we gotta learn our true history, but without further ado, here y'all go. Black race created the civilization, civilized the white folks two times. We know that black people built all these things. The Greeks, who were supposed to have been the founders of civilization because they were the first civilized white folks, but the Greeks got their civilization from the Egyptians. And the Egyptians were black people. And the Greeks passed their civilization on to the Romans. They couldn't retain it, they lost it. They had a dark age in, in, in Europe for 500 years. And then another bunch of Africans, the Moors from North Africa, moved into Spain and started civilization all over again. So instead of Europe civilizing Africa, Africa has civilized Europe two times. The white folks took the religion of ancient Egypt, of Ethiopian Egypt, balled it up completely. White Christians of Europe are the dumbest people that ever lived. Black they... people taught them. You know, what we don't have in our history books is that the civilization we have in Europe today was brought to us by black people. Even black people don't know that. Even many, many black people don't know that. They don't know that the Moors, they were West Africans and North Africans and Central Africans that came to Europe and ruled Spain. They brought civilization to us. They showed us how to use soap, how to be clean, how to, to behave like a decent human being, you know? All these things we didn't know that before the Moors brought civilization to Spain. Did you know that the Moors ruled in Spain for 700 years? Where is that in our history books? It's nowhere to be found. Because why? If you are giving black people that power of having ones ruled over white people... The kings and queens of Europe lived in barns. Nobody wants to admit that. But they lived in barns. They lived with the animals. And another thing that the Africans brought in was that they said, you know, you cannot let your chicken run, run around in your house and then cows got to go outside. So they created what's called corrals. And corral is an Ethiopian word. It's a K-R-A-L sound. Corral, which is where they would put their animals after they domesticated them. Europeans let them animals run all up and down. This is where the German measles come from. This is where chicken pox come from. Because Europeans did not have a place for their animals. They just ran all up inside their places. And they would carry, as they would get illnesses and sicknesses, they did not bathe, so therefore they had no soap, they had no disinfectant, didn't have alcohol, so that this type of style of living brought illness. When the Moors came in, they, they wrapped all that up, along with bringing medicine. What you have happening is that these Gothic kingdoms are going to bring down, they're going to sack the Roman Empire. And after they sack the Roman Empire, they're going to take this area over for a while. And then the Moors are going to come in and they're going to push those Visigoths out. And they're going to push them more north and they're going to chase them out. Hey, teach your people to reach your people. What if I told you that there was a time to where black people ruled Europe? Have you ever heard of the Moors? Well, the Moors were Muslim Africans who traveled all over the world and did some amazing things for Europe. In fact, the word Moor at a certain point in time in history just literally meant black. The Moors literally ruled Europe for over 800 years. Not only did they introduce scientific techniques, they also introduced them to astronomy, chemistry, physics, mathematics, geography, philosophy. They was literally teaching these folk. There was a certain point in time in Europe to where 99% of the population was illiterate. You know who did know how to read? And you know who taught them how to read? All of Europe at the time had two universities. The Moors themselves had 17. No wonder the slave master didn't want us to read. It would have been a problem. Bruh, black people literally introduced Europe to paper, open libraries, and domesticated animals. In other words, relearn your history, and then you will learn the power of blackness. Black is Africa.